hello friends in this video we will again discuss to find the limit of sequence so let we have a sequence a n s a n equal to cos n by upon n square to n square so the question is what will be be the limit of the sequence so how we will find the limit of this sequence we will actually use the sandwich theorem so uh, to use that let's uh, discuss something more about the cos and pi so that given cos and pi and assume if we substitute n is equal to 1 then we will get cos pi and this value of cos pi is actually minus 1 when n is equal to 2 this is n is equal to 1 the case here when n is equal to 2 then cos uh, n pi become 2 pi and value of cos 2 pi is 1 similarly if we increase n is equal to 3 we will get cos 3 pi which have again a value minus 1 so we, we will obtain similarly plus 1 minus 1 and plus 1 minus 1 this will be the recurrence so that means and actually for all value of n cos n pi we will obtain uh, will be the value will be uh, plus or minus 1 that means cos pi we can write like this cos n pi minus 1 for all n belongs to natural number so now we are uh, moving to somewhat uh, sandwich theorem so now what we can do let's divide this with 2n square in the in this inequality what will we what we will obtain we will obtain minus 2 upon n square and this is cos n pi again and this is 2n square and this is 1 upon 2n square so this is the our sequence and this is another sequence this is another sequence so we are in the uh, condition of we are going to use uh, sandwich theorem so observe this is one sequence this is another sequence so this sequence let this is bn and this is this sequence is cn and this is our sequence an now observe this bn so this bn sequence is actually 1 minus 1 upon 2n square and if you take limit of this sequence that is limit n goes to infinity u bn is actually 0 similarly limit n goes to infinity u of uh, limit of sequence c n is actually uh, this is again you can say limit n goes to infinity this is the same as without as b n but without negative sign so this is again zero so we are now in the sandwich theorem what sandwich theorem says if we have a sequence a n and uh, this condition is happening b n and c n and suppose this sequence goes to a limit a and this sequence goes to limit a this is true for all natural number n then this a n also will go to a that means for our conclusion for our sequence cos n pi upon n square again this sequence goes to 0 this sequence goes to 0 and this is true for all n belongs to n that means this sequence will also go to 0 that means the limit of this sequence is actually 0 thank you